hours in. <laughs> Stop in Pennsylvania, almost to Ohio. Got muffins and muffin. shot glasses. Yes. Mm -hmm. Stop. It is on 11:10. Have about five more hours. I gotta pee again. Okay, check in later. It's been, it is almost 11.15. 11.11 11, make a wish. We I wish have, I was in, we started at 5.15. I wish I was in here and I wish I was at the Six house. hours down. Same. So I wanted to give you a little room update. Um, I'm almost about to go get my tan. I'm all shaved, exfoliated, stuff like that. Um, we got here uh about six a little after six this time mountain standard time which is an hour earlier than east coast time so it took us about 14 hours to get to chicago the traffic was really bad and um i checked in right away i'm class e um there's eight bikini classes which is new and uh yeah um so just checked in ate a meal, showered. I've just been relaxing, hanging out, getting at my tan. It's almost around nine o'clock now. And uh, yeah, that's about the whole game plan for that. Our bikini meeting isn't until 2 p.m. tomorrow. So I don't think I'm gonna get on stage until like after six. Um, Prejudging for all like women, like the all females is at 12 and bikini is dead last. So it's gonna be like a chill morning at least. I have um, tan touch-ups at 9.30, hair and, I mean makeup at 10.30, and then I'm gonna do my hair. And then 2 p.m. there, the venue's right downstairs. We're in the host hotel, so it's super nice and convenient. You can just walk down to everything. Um, so yeah, it's going very smoothly so far. So I'm gonna show you guys our hotel room. The hotel is insane. So when I go out, um, not when I get my tan, but like later, maybe tomorrow, I'll show you guys the whole thing. It is huge. It has like 11,000 rooms in here. It is ridiculously big, so. So my family went out to go get food and my mom sent me pictures and like a video and like that, wherever they're at in the town is like freaking insane like amount of people just i don't know what's going on but there's like an insane amount of people so it looks like there's a lot to do around here which i mean i'm competing so i can't really do a whole lot but i'm so excited for pizza uh pizza but this show is a two-day show so to tomorrow is the pre-judging on friday for all females and then Saturday morning is male prejudging, and then at night on Saturday is everyone's finals. So we'll see how prejudging goes and um, go from there. But I am just so excited to get pizza. I'm going to Lou Malnati's. I already planned it out. I've talked to so many people about which one. I followed them on Instagram. So going into the show, I've only this is my first real national show. I have done teen nationals two summers ago, which you cannot like get a pro card or anything but um it was a cool experience and so this is my like first real national show and my goal was this year to get up on that stage and see where i place amongst like the best competitors before going pro level obviously but the better competition and see where i am amongst that um I am a younger competitor. I just turned 20 this year. So for me, being probably one of the youngest on that stage, I think you have to be 18 to even do a national show, um, is really cool. And just to kind of get my feet wet on that stage and see, you know, what I need to work on, improve, I just want to see how it is. I want to get my feet wet, have fun, 
get up there get in front of those judges and that is my goal and yeah we'll see how it goes i'll keep you guys updated so i'm going to head over to my tan now and you guys will see me next dorito style um i'm excited <laughs> i feel like i just went through this whole process but yes all right I'll talk to you guys later oh hello guys uh yeah i feel 100 right now <laughs> look at this makeup all right close up of the makeup i have like fish in my teeth teeth so sorry that's kind of gross but here i am obsessed my makeup has never looked this good. Um, I have my makeup done by Sean Hector Lewis. She's an IFBB pro, and she actually lives in my area. I got it through her, and I am freaking obsessed with it. So, basically, like a rundown of what has gone on. I'm a bad vlogger today, but um, I woke up at like 5:50 normally because here is an hour um, behind us. So. It was really like almost seven and I usually wake up at like at that time like 6 37 normally every day just naturally so it wasn't that early but I was like oh I wanted to sleep in a little bit more um but anyways woke up um sent pictures to my coach she said everything looks good I feel so good right now like this is my by far my best look I have brought to the stage which makes me so happy because uh I last minute was not gonna do this show at all and I'm really glad I decided to push through and do it um, I was self I had a lot of self-doubt and I was really nervous and I just felt like I was way out of my league really nervous and even like what third no Wednesday night I was like mom I don't think that we should go like I don't think I'm ready enough I just I'm not confident and she put made me put on my suit for her my dad who my dad was a bodybuilder and they're like no you're going like even if you get last place one you brought your best physique that you've ever and you can you need to compete with the best to be the best and it's very true and I was like okay I'm doing it I'm doing it I got some self-confidence back in me and um, I feel good and I'm really glad I came and it was a long trip to get here and I was very hesitant um, after my last show but I am nationally qualified I deserve to be up on that stage I worked my freaking ass off I'm really glad I came through with it but um, I'm gonna chill out for a little bit our competitor meeting is at 2 and I don't think I'm gonna get on stage until 5 or 6 probably more around 6 um, so it's gonna be a long day of just waiting but the good thing is it's all downstairs so uh, I got my last coat of tan on earlier and I'm just gonna chill do my hair I'm just gonna do a loose curl sorry <laughs> eat a couple more meals and head to that and then my mom's gonna go down earlier at like five just to watch and kind of text me when bikini starts going on I'm class E so there's a B C D four before me um, so I don't want to be down there I don't want to be on my feet too much and coach said just rest 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 and I have her messaging me my posing coach who's awesome who's also IFBB pro messaging me and I'm just I feel so good so I'm gonna practice a little bit of posing um, as well but they said kind of stay off your feet as much as you can uh, just rest and I'm not stressing out I'm not expecting anything I'm just gonna go up there give it all I got and to me I already won because I Thinking back on it, I have spent hours and hours and hours. I've been dieting for 20 weeks. I have done, I don't, can't even count how many hours I've done in my basement, on the treadmill, first thing in the morning, last thing at night, sprints, steady state for an hour, whatever, uh, all the YouTube videos I watched along the way, and in the gym, just like working my freaking ass off sorry for my language but seriously 
I couldn't be more proud of myself and it hasn't been an easy prep um, for numerous reasons and I've had so many downs but at the end of the day I made it I got through it and I'm here and now I just show them what I have and that's all I can do um, but I'm here I made it I didn't stop and the thing about it is guys I wanted to quit so many times from my last show to now I said I'm not good enough I'm not gonna be able I'm, I'm not made for competing I'm not I don't look good I'm not I'm not at that level and I had so many excuses I was like why am I doing this like why what what I'm not I'm I'm not a winner I'm a loser and what I had to get my head wrapped around was that we all need downs in our life because when you get to that one point in your life where you're, you know, you reach a, a, a goal for yourself. Like for me, I'd really like to be and goal Miss Bikini Olympia. And you know, one day, I was watching Courtney King's video actually, she was a big inspiration for me. She, her story was not just straight up. You know, there's bumps in the road. It's an up and down cycle and you have to have the downs to get to the, the highs and I, I need to realize that I'm someone who's I'm competitive, obviously, <laughs> very competitive. I've from all the the sports, all the years I played, you know, it's win. That's all. That's all it is. But then when it rides just on yourself and you don't win, you feel like a failure. And I'm very hard on myself. But I needed that last show. I needed that kick in the ass. To be like you need to work harder you need to push harder and you're not giving up and i followed through we're gonna see how this goes but i already won for myself um i already won so relaxing hair gonna get, keep you guys updated as much as you can i'm gonna send this off to actually lauren to get some footage behind the scenes and everything um they're out actually out the shameless house which i'm kind of jealous about <laughs> so that's kind of the game plan for today see how it goes and um thank you guys for keeping up with my journey and i don't really know what i'm gonna do after this but we'll see i'm just going with the flow that's that's my new motto go with the flow yeah all right <laughs> see you guys in the next clip we're out here Uh oh! <laughs> it's so dark in here. I know. The lighting's not very good. Um, let's take it on the iPhone. Pictures. Okay. How do you feel? What? Oh, I feel very ready. <laughs> very ready. Give no. your ticket right there? Yep.
recording. Edible arrangements. First time. Oh, this is Oh, Ready? my God. That's what life is all about. Look at those berries. Are you gonna eat all of them? Can I have one? I thought you were gonna say no. <laughs> oh, I. Oh, yeah, it is. We are at Lumonati's. Points. We're about to eat some Chicago deep dish pizza. I've never been to Chicago, so I never had Chicago deep dish pizza. Um, unless it's, you can count like the knockoff Virginia pizza. I don't know if it's the same, but we're gonna see. I heard this is the best place. We're gonna eat our face off. I'm so hungry. God, I'm Heck done with yeah. fish. <laughs> Heck yeah, we are. <laughs> What are we getting? <laughs> now, uh, cheesy garlic bread. Right now, we're at Dairy Queen. <laughs> oh, oh we almost got killed. We're gonna need some chicken strips. Well, you want a A1 bacon bur cheeseburger. God, I, I, I honestly would throw up. Here we go. Happy hour. Oh. <laughs> What'd you get? Chocolate Oreo. Blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> you look dead. <laughs> Gee, what did you get? Wow. All right, guys. Time to shower. This is Cerrito. Came off, but I'm gonna miss the makeup. You guys, please.